people come to Southern California for epic kelp forest diving. As you descend, it gets darker because kelp canopy is very good at taking up all the space on the surface to get as much light as possible. Suddenly you find yourself down at the bottom and you realize that this whole huge plant that you've just cruised down next to is all held to the bottom by a relatively small holdfast. You can see the light streaming in through cracks in the foliage. It's just really beautiful. Then you start to notice all the different species that live amongst different parts of the kelp plants. It can sometimes be like an underwater scavenger hunt when you're looking for an individual species. We call kelp ecosystem engineers because, of course, kelp forests are defined by kelp themselves, and they create this incredible habitat on which so many other organisms rely. But now we're in a world of change, constant change. Ocean temperatures averaged across the world are increasing. And we don't really know what these changes will mean for kelp forests, just like we don't know what they'll mean for other ecosystems as well. Hopefully the connection that is made between people and these organisms can then foster stewardship and lead to conservation of these really incredible ecosystems. My name is Emily Kelly, and I'm a marine biologist at Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California, San Diego.